guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video today. I hope you're all doing very well and having a great day. So today I'm coming to you guys with several videos. As I had previously discussed, I'm sitting down to record three videos today. So this is the third video. When you guys will see it, I am unsure. So today I am here to share with you guys my October 2015 favorites. So I don't have too many favorites this month. I have about five or six items, one beauty product, and then several Louis Vuitton items. Go figure. So without further ado, let's get started. And we will start with my one and only beauty product. So the first item I have to share with you guys is an amazing mascara by Chanel and I will put the full name down below because it's a bit of a tongue twister and a mouthful but it is their length curl and separating mascara and mine is in the color noir number 10 this mascara is absolutely amazing definitely worth the money of course Chanel products are a little bit more expensive and within the last several months I have purchased my first Chanel mascaras and I don't think I could ever go back. This mascara is amazing. The look that I generally go for is length and curl and it's incredible. With this mascara, this is probably the first time I don't actually have to use an eyelash curler. Sometimes I will anyway. I will generally put on two coats and I'm normally good to go. But if I want that extra pop, I normally let them dry, let it harden. And then if I use my eyelash curler, so many people ask me if I have fake lashes on. So it's absolutely amazing. So the Chanel Length Curl and Separation Mascara. So that covers our cosmetics for the month. Next we'll move on to several Louis Vuitton items. Most of them are accessories. So the first Louis Vuitton piece I have to share with you guys, <clears throat> pardon me guys, frog in my throat, is one of my new, probably one of my favorite key clays. And that's a bold statement as you guys can see back there. I am a key clay addict. And this is the beautiful limited edition totem key pouch by Louis Vuitton. Just released here, the B, I think it was the beginning of October, end of September. I just love the detail. As you guys know, I love limited edition. I love the monogram with a pop. And this piece is just incredible. I'm just bringing it in to show you guys. And I did do a reveal on this piece when I first got it. If you guys would like to check out that video, you may. As you can see, there are these beautiful leather trims on the side. And this is the epi leather without the graining, if you will. So these two are in a darker pink, and this is more of a coral color. There we go. The beautiful details here with Louis Vuitton engraved in each of those button details. And then possibly my favorite detail of all is the zipper pull. I love, love the detail, the colors, <clears throat> excuse me, and the fact that it is double-sided. <clears throat> you have your coral color on this side and blue on the other side. And this is a larger key pouch at the moment. I'll just show you guys. Um, for the most part throughout the month, I've been using it just for my, my car key, nothing special. Sometimes I will hang it on the outside of my bag as a bag charm. And when I do that, my car key is the only thing that I'll put in there. I don't really like to weigh it down, but this is just such an amazing pop, whether on the outside of my bag or the inside of my bag. So the beautiful totem key pouch. The next piece I have to share with you guys is another newer release by Louis Vuitton and a limited edition piece. And that would be the lovely Evasion Mini Pochette in Damier Abem. As you guys know, I am warming up to the Damier Ben. I think I have four pieces now. For the longest time, I was monogram, 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 but I really, really am starting to fall in love with the Damier Ben. I'm actually thinking about what my first bag should be. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, I would love to hear them down below. So far, I'm probably leaning towards a classic Speedy just because I don't have any classic Speedies. They're all limited edition. So I think it would be great to have that weather friendly Damia Ben Speedy. So anyway guys, let's bring this piece in to show you guys the details. I just love that illustration. As you guys know I'm a big fan of limited edition and 
the screen printed items by Louis Vuitton. I've had absolutely no problems with them. I have several pieces from multicolor to pieces such as this. So if you guys are holding back because you're afraid of you know, the print wearing, please don't. I use my items. They sit beside other items in my bag. I do try to be careful, but I use them. So I highly, highly recommend trying some of these beauties. But this piece is just a catch-all inside of my bag. I always have a mini pochette in my bag. And since this is my newest one, it just happens to be my favorite for the month. I have all kinds of things in here. I'll just give you guys a shot. Um, I have my headphones in there. I have some gum, some mints. I have my handbag hanger. If you're at a restaurant, there's nowhere for your bag. You can hang this on the table. I have my antibacterial, just all kinds of catch-all things because I like to be organized with inside of my bag. And the mini pochette is just such a wonderful piece. So the beautiful evasion mini pochette in Damier Ben. And sticking with the evasion collection, of course, this piece had to be in my favorites as well. This is the beautiful monogram evasion back charm. I am in love with the color pattern. Don't get me wrong, the Damien Ben piece is gorgeous, but this turquoise and pink just melts my heart. I absolutely love it. Again, with the illustration. And I find that this charm just works so well on so many of my bags. I will insert a picture at the end of the video for you guys that I think my absolute favorite would be this, this piece on my monogram V Neverfull. It is just incredible. The pink just pops on both pieces. It is just so gorgeous. So absolutely loving this during the month of October. So the evasion bag charm in monogram. Next, I have another newer piece of mine. They just, a lot of my favorites happen to be newer pieces because since they're new, I kind of, you know, put them right into my rotation and I do fall in love with them, fortunately. But this piece would be the amazing iPad mini flap case. This is a newer piece and I did do a reveal and a mini review on this if you guys would like to check it out. I am just so in love with this. I will say that this case makes me want to use my iPad mini more than I probably ever have. <laughs> I think that's an honest, uh, honest response, but I'll try to open this up without blinding you guys. So as you can see, I have my iPad mini in here at the moment. It fits perfectly. It has its own little casing. I don't have anything in the pockets at the moment. I think if I'm traveling or if I take this with me, like if I have an appointment and I have to wait, anything like that, it will be nice just to slip things in here. But for the most part, when I'm out and about, I do use my phone for things. But a lot of times when I'm at home and we're all kind of hanging out in the living room, the kids have the TV, I'll watch movies and things like that on here. But I absolutely love, this is probably my favorite part, that you can actually use this as a folio case. And again, I talked about this in my last video. I think the price for this, for what it is, is actually pretty great. So the iPad mini flap case in monogram. And my last favorite is actually an oldie book goodie. This is a piece that I've had for probably almost two years now. So it'll be neat for you guys to see it for wear and tear reasons. And that would be the amazing multicolor pochette plot GM. This is the flat pochette. And you can use this piece as a clutch, but what I have been doing is actually using this as a cosmetic pouch. Probably the number one item on my wish list at the moment would be the toiletry 19. I would love to eventually have all sizes, but I think the 19 is probably best suited for me. And that's basically what I am doing with this piece at the moment. I do have the multicolor cosmetic pouch, the dome shaped one, and I love it. But to be honest with you, I haven't been carrying in my bag lately because it's a little bit wider and it takes up a little bit more space. But with this piece, because it is so slim, it's perfect for me just to put the cosmetics that I need. It makes sure that I don't overpack and it takes advantage of the height of my bag rather than taking up width. 
I just love it. It is great again for a clutch because you do have this functioning pocket and my iPhone 5 actually fits in that pocket. I just absolutely love it. And I did do a video on this way back when. This is one of my very first videos showing what fits inside of this piece. But it's amazing. I have fit my zippy coin in here, a clay, my phone, and a key holder. Like, it's incredible. You would not believe it. But just a little shot of the inside here. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot. I have my Chanel mirror. I have my Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana perfume. And then I have a lip gloss by Chanel and an Urban Decay lipstick and lip liner. And I can fit a lot more in here, but I figure I might as well only take the items that I need. And again, it's just so slim. It's perfect within my bag. doesn't take up a lot of space. So the beautiful multicolor pochette plat GM by Louis Vuitton. And again, wear and tear reasons. Two years, guys. It's in fabulous condition. And when I first got this, this is probably one of my very first accessories. I used this piece for a year straight, a entire year straight. The Vaquetta leather is in great condition. The, the screen print's in great condition. Again, guys, don't be shy. Try the screen print pieces if you would like to. So love this piece. So I think that covers everything, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. These were my October 2015 favorites. Again, we had one beauty product and then several Louis Vuitton accessories. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.